Hello children. Today we will learn the second feature of democracy that is free and fair electoral competition. Let's check the elections held in China. Can it be called a democratic or not? In China, elections are regularly held after every 5 years for electing the country's parliament called National People's Congress. The National People's Congress has the power to appoint the president of the country. It has nearly 3000 members elected from all over China. Some members are elected by the army. Before contesting elections, a candidate needs the approval of the Chinese Communist Party. Only those who are members of the Chinese Communist Party or eight smaller parties allied to it were allowed to contest elections held in 2002-2003 the government is always formed by the communist party next let's check the elections held in mexico mexico is uh, situated in north american continent it got its independence in the year 1930 since then it holds its election after every 6 years to elect its president the country has never been under military or dictator's rule but until 2000 every election was won by a party called pri that is institutional revolutionary party opposition parties did contest elections but never managed to win The PRI was known to use many dirty tricks to win elections. All those who are employed in government offices had to attend its party meetings. Teachers of government schools used to force parents to vote for the PRI. Media largely ignored the activities of the opposition political parties except to criticize them. Sometimes the polling booths were shifted from one place to another in the last minute which made it difficult for people to cast their votes the pri spent a large sum of money in the campaign for its candidates should we consider the elections described above as the example of people electing their rulers there are many problems here In China the elections do not offer the people any serious choice they have to choose the ruling party and the candidates approved by it can we call this a choice in the mexican example people seemed to really have a choice but in practice they have no choice there was no way the ruling party could be defeated even if people were against it These are not fair elections. Holding elections of any kind is not sufficient. The elections must offer a real choice between political alternatives. And it should be possible for people to use this choice to remove the existing rulers if they wish so. So, a democracy must be based on a free and fair elections were those currently in power have a fair chance of losing that is the second feature of democracy so we have checked the examples of china and mexico where elections are conducted but it is not in a free and fair manner thank you